This is the Sunflex SF55S folding door system and it's a great example of German engineering. And in this video, I'll explain why by showing you the good, the not so good, and giving you my verdict on whether you should buy it, shortlist it, or avoid it. I'm Richard Lannan, right with Canon, and this is Glazing Insider. So firstly, let me just say, this video is not sponsored by Sunflex but it is sponsored by Spitfire Doors. Sunflex are a German company specializing in the manufacture of windows and doors aimed at the higher end of the market. And with their years of experience, they've managed to put some really great features into this folding door system. To give you an overview of the system, this is a German designed bottom running system and it's actually manufactured in Germany. The SF55S is available in five standard single finishes, which are gray, 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 gray. I'm joking, but really I'm not. Which include anodized three gray grays and a white. One of those grays is 7016, you'll be glad to know. Along with these, you can choose from another 200 RAL colors and there is a dual color option. So if you wanted more of a neutral color inside like a white or an off-white and Lamborghini orange outside, you can do that. And if you do have that color combination, please send us a photo. This system is also very versatile as it's available in any kind of combination you can think of, including moving corners. There are also three threshold options to choose from. They are weathered, which is the standard standard and most recommended because it's guaranteed and it actually gives you the best weather rating. There's a low weather track which is very similar to the weathered but the upstand on the back of the weather track is removed which reduces ever so slightly the weather rating but ultimately is still guaranteed. And then there is a flush track which is really only for internal use. It's not guaranteed which really means it should be used inside like a room divider as opposed to being an external door. Now, while this system is double glazed as standard, it is available with triple glazing and it does help reduce the overall U value of the system, which we'll get to now. Sizes and specifications. So the max panel width of this system is 1.2 meters wide or 1200 millimeters or 120 centimeters. And you can also go up to 3.5 meters high, but not at the same time. Basically, if you want the maximum width, you need to come down slightly in height or for a reduced width, you can really go all the way up to 3.5 meters high. The sightline size glass to glass is 115 millimeters and the depth of the system is just 55 millimeters deep. Double glazed, it has a U value of 1.6. Now, if you do go for triple glazing, this can be reduced, but it really depends on the overall U value of the unit itself. The water tightness of the overall system using the weather track is 900 PA, and the air tightness with the same weather track is 600. PA, which is quite a jump up from some of the systems available here in the UK. So let's start with the not so good lead time. This system, because it is manufactured in Germany, does take a little bit longer to get to us in the UK. So the lead time can be somewhere between eight to 10 weeks from the manufacturer. So what you need to be allowing for from an installation point of view is factoring in survey time, processing time, and installation schedules. So you really need to be allowing somewhere between 10 to 14-ish weeks. So if you need a bifold system like yesterday, this may not be the best option for you. Next up is cost. So I'm very careful with cost. I don't really wanna get into the actual figures around it, but ultimately, this is a premium product, so you will be paying more than the average bifold made in the UK. And in some cases, you could be looking at somewhere between 50 to 100% more, which means this system won't fit into everyone's budget. And finally, another one linked to cost. While this system is very customizable to make it your own, all the options are additional charges. So things like stainless steel handles, custom and dual color options. So while you can make this system your own, it does come at a cost. So that's the not so good. And to be honest, everything I'm about to tell you now will completely outweigh those. So first up, the seals on this door system are great. And they run all the way past the hinges, which allows this door to have such a great rating when it comes to air tightness and water tightness. Also, from a personal point of view, I think it looks very neat. Next up is the hinges. This system overall has really been thought about when it comes to design. It's really a very nice looking system and very pleasing to the eye. And they've tried to do this with very subtle ways. And the hinges are one of those. So unlike some systems out there, each one of these hinges are all exactly the same size and they are nothing to do with the running gear, which means you don't get the bigger hinge at the bottom or the top. They're all exactly the same size. Realistically, there's some people out there that would just say, I don't care. But trust me when I say there are some people out there that really do care and you know who you are. 
Another feature, again linked with design, is the option to not have a cylinder outside. One, it can help technically with a bit of security because it means the cylinder isn't exposed on the outside, which just means it can't be attacked. But ultimately, if you do need to use this door for access from the outside, you will need to have a cylinder. Also, if you need to use this door as a balcony system, you can completely remove the handle on the outside. With this in mind, it's also probably a good time for me to mention that this door can open in or out. So you can actually configure it to open into the building or to the outside. Not at the same time, you have to pick one, but the system is capable of doing both, which is quite a nice feature because not every Bifall system out there can do that. Final one on design, the handle. This system has the ability to have a traditional lever handle or an inline handle, which again is very pleasing to the eye because when you look at the bifold, you don't see a handle sticking out. Now, it really depends, it's personal preference here because some people just feel more comfortable using a lever handle. But if you're going for the looks, in my experience, most customers tend to go for the inline and just completely keep it out of the way. Combined with the fact that they color code handles as standard, it really does help to blend the door handle into the system. Unless you're trying to make the handle a feature, in which case a lot of people will go for the stainless steel upgrade. Next up is the stay, which was specifically designed for this system and allows you to lock the main door firmly in place. And with a little bit of a bounce using the internal handle, you can actually release the catch, which allows you to start closing the door so you don't have to step outside if it is raining. Now, for any of you out there looking for a door system that can cope near the coast, or if you've got a swimming pool, this system does have the option to have a special paint finish, which protects it from chemical and salt damage, which is a nice feature to have, but in some cases, you will have to have that coating to make sure the system is guaranteed. And then last up is the best feature out of everything. It's the reason why I think this system is the best folding door system for small spaces. Now, while the sight line size is 115 millimeters, it's not technically one of the slimmest out there. The fact that this is only 55 millimeters deep means that the overall stacking size is reduced, which means in scenarios where you don't necessarily have the space to create a large opening, sort of three to four meters, this door really maximizes the space. And on smaller openings such as 1800, 2.1 or 2.5, which are fairly popular sizes when it comes to sliding doors or double doors and side screens, this system with a stacking size less than 300 millimeters really can make a big difference. So finally, my verdict. I think you should buy it, shortlist it, or avoid it. For me, if you've got the budget and you can allow for the lead time, you should definitely buy it. It is worth the wait. If this video has been helpful, consider clicking the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. And until next time. This is the Sunflex SF50. <laughs>